Okay, so here, cancel, cancel lang. Um, let's solve this problem. Again, you have three horizontal ropes. Pull a big rock producing the following force vectors, A, B, and C as shown. Find the magnitude and direction of a fourth vector, force vector D, that will make the vector sum of these forces zero. Okay, so paano yon? Okay, ang gagawin ko, para madali, gagawa na lang ako na table para doon ko na lang ilagay lahat ng mga values na meron ko. So, A, buti na lang nakadrawing na siya, di ba? So, X component and then Y component. Okay? So, paano yan? So, let's say you have three vectors, A, B, and C. Tapos, ano yan? Ano yung X component A? Observe here that this is 20 degrees. This is 20 degrees um, west of north. So, diba? so in that case, what I can do here is what? Of course, right, may dalawa kang way. I can determine the complement and then use the usual cosine sign. Pwede rin naman, balik ta rin ko yung sign tsaka cosine. Ang gagawin ko yung former. Para hanapin ko tong angle na to, this is 70 degrees, di ba? Tama? Yes, sir. Yes, tama. 70 degrees yan. In that case, I know that my x component is negative and then I will get something like an a minus a cosine of 70 degrees. Agree? Agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, actually, ang pwede mo pang isulat dito kung medyo maarte ka talaga is a cosine ni what? Um, 110. 110 degrees. Yan talaga yun. Pero uh, para... Masapadali buhay natin, I'll just write it as minus a cosine of 70 degrees. So acceptable rin yan. And then for the y component on the other hand, it's still plus a cosine of one of 70 degrees or a or a sine ni 110 degrees. So nonetheless, parehas lang yung dalawang yan. One is just with respect to negative x and the other is with respect to positive x. So, diba? Gets? Gets yung rational? Gets yung pinagalagawa ko dito? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yan. Now, for B, I can also note here nakalagay na siya sa this is what? Ito na yung re related acute angle niyan, di ba? So I can say it's okay. This just minus B sine, uh, sorry, cosine to. Cosine ni 37 degrees. And this is also minus B sine of 37 degrees. Tama Tama? Yes, sir. Tama? Yes, sir. Of course, a more formal yan ay dapat, this should be B, uh, 180 plus 37, 207. 207? Tama? Masa ganon? <laughs> tama, eh, tama. Gabi naman yan, sir, minay mental. Um, cosine of 200, 180, 217 pala, sorry. 217. Okay. Tama na ba? 217. Pwede rin to na B B um, cosine of 217 degrees B sine of 217 degrees. Pwede yon. Pero ang ginamit ko talaga puro negative para mas kasi um, ang sinasabi ang bakit pwede itong pwede to itong notation na to. What I'm doing kasi is I'm treating all the negatives as the part of the direction and the angles are just parang sineperate ko yung direction based on the sign and the theta. Pwede mo rin kasing sabihin na the theta ay the negatives are in the theta. Pwede rin kasing magkahiwala yun. Okay? Yun yung ginagawa ko. Kaya ganyan yung pagkaka-classify. Then letter C. And the letter C is what? This is in the fourth quadrant. The x component is positive. And we get something like what? So ito, 55 degrees to, di ba? Ah, hanapin ko yung complement niya. Ang complement niya ay what? 35 degrees, tama? 35. 35. So in that yes, case, I get a C cosine of 35 degrees and a minus C sine of 35 degrees. Okay? Questions? May tanong dito? None, sir. Wala. Okay. Thank you. So, what I will do next is, nasa gilid pala siya. Let me, let me reposition this. Yan. Okay. And then, so of course, you, what we will do is you do per, you perform a lot of calculator work in that one, two, three, four, five, six calculator works. Pero kaya kaya niyo yan. Mas marami kayong kukumpis sa board exams niyo, for example. Uh, so in that case, X component, isulat ko ulit yung table, Y component, 
and we have a vector here, b vector here, and c vector here, which is, um, when you do your calculator work, nalabas dyan ay minus 6.684 newtons, minus 1.997 newtons, plus 1.474 newtons, um, 1.879 newtons, minus 1.505 newtons, and minus 1.032 newtons. So, okay? Paki-verify kung tama yan. I believe tama yan. <laughs> and then when you add them, A vector plus B vector plus C vector is just minus 1.207 newtons minus 0.658 newtons. Ngayon, ano ba yung tinatanong? Ang tinatanong ito, what we want, but, but what we want is what? Is D such that such that, ano mangyayari? The all, the vectors are, the vector sum of all these vectors are zero. Pangatama na zero ko. Yan. Tama? Pangatama na vector alo na to. Yan. Okay? This means that D vector is negative of A vector plus B vector plus C vector. Tama? Tama? Yes, sir. Pero nakuha ko na yun, di ba? Nakuha ko na yung A vector plus B vector plus C vector. Therefore, the answer is D is just the negative of all these components here. These components here, this component here. And we have D vector is therefore 1.207 I hat plus 0.658 J hat newtons. Okay? Hindi pa tayo tapos kasi ang tinatanong pala ay magnitude and direction. One can show, please show this, that the magnitude of the vector is 1.377 newtons and the direction theta is 28.55 degrees. Paki-check ito. Okay? Nakuha yung, yung nakuha ito? Yes, sir. Yes, po. Nakuha? Okay, again, what you need to do if there's a lengthy calculation, create a table para madali i-organize yung thoughts niya. Hindi kung saan-saan ka magpaka-compute. Okay? May nagpapa-admit. Patapos na tayo. Okay. Are there any questions? None so are there, far. Are there any questions? None. None? Okay. So, if there are no more questions, um, um, wait. <laughs> yeah. So, this, here are some references and further reading. As I said in the previous lecture video, uh, if you want to understand more, the list arrow and the column vector relationship, they are all equivalent. Uh, check the, the three blue one one video, video series on, on the essence of linear algebra. The first lecture is on that. Okay, and um, as I said also in the previous video, uh, not all quantities with magnitude and direction are considered vectors. There are other um, objects, mathematical objects that are uh, that have magnitude and direction but they are not considered vectors. A more formal discussion on that, you'll see that in, in for example, um, in a mathematical physics textbook, like for example, R. Okay, and then some of the slides, of course, are from Young and Friedman and from uh, other former physics 71 instructors. And of course, the first slide is the stock image at PowerPoint. Okay, so if there are no more questions, those who are watching this via YouTube, thank you very much for attending and I see you all next week. Bye-bye.